Hey y'all, it's quite windy and gusty today, but I do have the microphone on. I wanted to come and show you what I accomplished this morning. I'm proud of myself. It was quite much easier than I thought. Look there. Laddie got a girlfriend. That's Marigold. So she was pretty, I was putting scratch out. She was pretty easy to catch. She didn't fly a lot. I brought her out here. Um, at the time I was catching her, he had gotten up in the coop was eating so I brought her and put her directly in there with him and of course he covered her and then she started eating and drinking with him and I threw some scratch out they've got some watermelon and she seems pretty content right now she did a little bit of talking but uh when I came and freshened up his food and he was in there clucking for her, she kind of acted a little um skeptical of the ramp she was around it. Um, I had the blue scoop that I scooped their food with. So she, of course, was like, oh, okay. So I just scooped her up, stuck her in there with him. And uh, like I said, she doesn't lay. Um, she's the older Rhode Island Red that was given to me. I was told she was six months old. Yeah. But I'm hoping she'll stay around. She's got Laddie here, Rooster. She's always had a thing for Laddie, so. And she's, they're hanging out together, so. She, uh, out here she's not, you know, toward the bottom of the totem pole. I mean, she is above the, the Easter Eggers and the uh, Rhode Island Red, so she thinks. But, um, yeah, so she's out here with him tonight, it's Saturday. So tonight we're supposed to get down into the 40s tonight, tomorrow night, and possibly some rain. So I did some extra insulating in their coop so they cannot get any rain on them um, or any of the westerly or northwesterly wind. The wind's coming out of the west by northwest now, which means it's coming like right on my face um, to the right of me, kind of across, kind of across this way. So, are you talking? What do you think about being out here with Laddie? Mm -hmm. Are you going to stay around and hang out with him? So I'm sure he will keep an eye on her. And I don't see her venturing very far from her rooster. We'll see. But she's a good forager. This way, Laddie will have a snuggle buddy at night. Um, and hopefully it all works out well. I mistakenly came out here with my red crocs on. So he's protecting her. He's staying between me and her. Protecting her from the red crocs. Because you know the red crocs are evil. Yeah. So I'm sure it'll take a little bit of adjusting. Because chickens aren't big on change. But she knows Laddie. And she's comfortable with Laddie. And so I'm hoping that. This turns out to be just a couple yard chickens. We'll be happy. And this winter. You know. If need be. Like I said I have that little radiant. TV screen size heater that I used for the young chickens last winter I can always uh, plug it in and put it in in the little coop if I think they need it but I really don't think they're going to need it they're both pretty uh, cold hardy birds and uh, I will if I have to I will you know I use what I don't use of this inside and make a solid door to go over their gated door because this kennel which is the uh, quarantine coop, which is now the, uh, we'll call it the honeymooner coop, has just a, you know, a wire mesh door. So nothing can get in through it. It's got a nice steel door, but wind, you know, anything coming right out of the west, you know, can snake in there that way. So on really cold nights or nights I feel it's going to be too windy for them, I will uh, make them a door. You know, even if it's just something that, uh, you know, I can just slide up there and, you know, lean up to fasten against the door, you know, just to block any wind. <coughs> but I want them to get nat some natural light and to be able to see out, and you know, only at night will they be closed in. But, yeah, you two be a good couple, all right? You're welcome. You see her feathers from being roughed up when she first came. Um, I think she was in, might have been in a little bit of molt at that time. I don't know, but remember, she was the first one to have to wear dresses, and she hated them. But now her feathers look great, 
you know, she'll be a good companion for him. Her not laying means I don't have to chase down any eggs, so. Yay! All right, I'll let you guys eat your watermelon and hang out here together, okay? Check on you later. Bye-bye.